I were going to do hair and nail care today. And so we'll give you some teaching on that. Hi, Melissa. It's Amy. I'm your certified nurse aide. May I come in? Yes. How are you today? I'm good. Good. We're getting ready for breakfast, so I'd like to do your hair and nails. Will that be okay? Sure. Okay, I'm going to shut the curtain, gather my equipment, and wash my hands, and I'll be right back. Okay. Water needs to be between 104 and 110, not too hot. She has to be able to keep her fingers in the water. Fill the bucket about one third full. After your hands are clean, make sure you're using paper towel to turn off the faucets. I'm going to need a pair of gloves. Bring it to the bedside or the table. Put down a workstation. Real important that you start using workstations. Melissa, I'm going to ask you to touch that water first, see if it's okay, is it? Yeah, the right temperature? Fine. Then go ahead and soak your fingers, please. I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on, and I'd like to start with hair care. Will that be okay? Sure. How do you like your hairstyle? Oh, anyway. Anyway, okay. Well, I won't move it too much, but I need to go through it, make sure the snarls and the tangles are out of it. gloves on. I'm going to use a comb. Is that okay? Sure. I'm going to start at the lower part of your hair and just go through it, making sure there's no snarls or tangles in it. I like your bangs. Thank you. They look nice. There we go. It looks really nice and tidy today. Does that feel okay? Yep, good. If there was hair in either of these, you would just pull it out, okay? Throw it away in the wastebasket. Okay, Melissa, I'm going to go around the table and set across from you. I'm going to take one of your hands out, put them right down here, pat them dry. Going to use an orange stick. This is the pointed end. We don't use that end. That could cause trauma to soft elderly people's skin. We use the flat side to clean underneath the nails and push the cuticles back. When you're doing this, please remember you're not going in to scrape everything out. Cause no harm and do no damage. So you're going to gently push the cuticles back noting if there's any sores or openings underneath the nails. Notice how I do that. I go underneath them, kind of rotate it, and then wipe. Pushing the cuticles back, looking to see if there's any cuts, openings. Doing each fingernail. Melissa, I'm not hurting you, am I? No. 
Okay, can we take the other hand out? I'm going to pat that one dry. Pushing the cuticles back and underneath. those look, Melissa? Fine. Good. Would you like some lotion on your hands? Yes, please. Okay. Put it in your hands first. Warm it up. And then kind of massage it into their hands. Feel okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Always remember to offer them to pat the excess uh, lotion off. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to leave the equipment in your room, but I'm going to clean up my area. So go ahead and take care of this. Take care of these. These in the hamper. Empty this. Take your basin. You must rinse it three times. One, two, three. All resident equipment is only used for that resident. We do not share equipment between residents. If anything gets dirty or soiled, we throw that away. I'm going to go ahead and take my gloves off now. And wash my hands. your cup of water. Okay, I'll be back in a little while, okay? Okay. Have a great day. You too.